Hello folks, I hope you're all doing very well. This is just a quick bit of news which actually might be a big deal. Now I've just come home from work and a member from the MSFS Virtual Reality Facebook group has basically made me aware, so thank you David, I think your name is, of this news from Sony. Now as you know, the PSVR 2, while it's a fantastic VR headset, and I admit I haven't tried it, and the reason is, it's because it's exclusively for the PS5. But for the PC VR crowd, this could be your next VR headset, as Sony, as you can see here from this article from The Verge, they're now testing it on PCs, with the possibility of this becoming compatible in the near future. So I'm not just going to read this out to you guys, because obviously you can read it yourself. I'll put it in the link in the description below. But the reason why this is big news is because many of you are looking for a decent upgrade for the Reverb G2. And unless, you know, you're going to spend a lot more money on, say, a Crystal or perhaps even a Somni VR1, which admittedly, they're amazing headsets, this could be the new mid-ranger especially if you consider the specs, which I'm going to go through now. Just to remind ourselves, the display technology in the PSVR 2 is OLED, which is something that we desperately need as a standard for VR headsets moving forward, like it is with, well, most of the top range and mid-range smartphones these days. The panel resolution at 2000 by 2040 per eye is getting very close to the Reva D2, so I don't think it'll be quite as sharp but with that OLED panel, I don't think you'll mind too much, quite honestly, because it's going to make the colours absolutely beautiful and the blacks absolutely perfect. The refresh rate is 90 hertz, which is very good for, you know, sims, as you can probably half your frame rate to 45, which will give you pretty smooth results. And the field of view is around 110 degrees. Now, as I say, I haven't tried this headset myself. Now, keep in mind, the PSVR 2 does have quite a bit of Mura, I've been told, and it has Fresnel lenses. So those are negatives. However, I still feel that this headset could be a really good replacement for your Reva D2 or maybe other headsets that you're using simply because of that OLED screen and the comfort, I've been told, of the PSVR 2 is very, very good. Now, I can assure you that if this does become a thing, and it is compatible with PC through Sony themselves, not through, you know, third party people and, you know, mods of the community. I want this to be really supported that I will buy this for you guys and review it and let you know. Anyway, folks, that's it now. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I've had a long day at work, but I just had to let you know this news. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And please let me know in the comments what do you think about this. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.